Ballot boxes, there for dropping your ballots, not for political shenanigans. What they call electioneering is illegal within 100 feet of a polling place or a drop box. But how about having a big old protest near a ballot box? It happened in Larimer County. Our Marshal Zollinger got the video, and now you can take a look. Sunday afternoon selfies. People in Larimer County documenting they voted. This video is from the 24-hour surveillance camera required at all ballot drop boxes. This is the Larimer County Courthouse. A group gathered this weekend to protest the state's mask mandate and business restrictions. People continued to drop ballots off as the event happened well within the 100-foot rule prohibiting electioneering. If I had been there and would have been able to talk with these folks, I would have asked them to move outside the 100-foot limit. Larimer County Clerk and Recorder Angela Myers said technically it's not electioneering, but not ideal to be that close either. Did you see evidence of voter intimidation? I did not. I looked at the surveillance camera. I saw no indication at any time of anyone uh, bothering anybody dropping their ballots and there were it was a steady stream of ballots being dropped. But take a look at the man closest to the drop box. Watch his reaction as a voter arrives with a face mask and a face shield. Then watch as the man coughs. 90 seconds later, after these two women drop off their ballots, he coughs again. Oh, I see what you're saying right there. Yeah, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. If I had been there and able to and knew that someone was right there at that ballot box, I would have been very quick to say that can't be there. Can't be bothering people doing this. Former state senator Kevin Lundberg was the MC of the event. We talked on the phone. He told me the event was not to influence the election, therefore not electioneering, and that he wanted to be sure anyone who wanted to access the drop box could. I also did see this moment where one of the men closest to the drop box actually helped someone locate the slot for the ballot. For next, I'm Marshall Zellinger.